The dangerous explosion of pirate attacks off the coast of Africa is still making headlines, but in the waters between Indonesia and Malaysia and Singapore, a hot spot for piracy, authorities are saying that they are winning the battle. A spokesman for Indonesia's Navy says joint patrols in the Malacca Strait have reduced piracy from a high of 75 attacks in 2000 to just two so far this year. But how to stop the Somali pirates continues to puzzle some of the world's most powerful navies and the richest shipping companies. Three weeks ago, pirates hijacked the CEC Future, a cargo ship loaded with steel and headed for Indonesia as it sailed along the coast of Somalia. Late yesterday, I talked with the ship's owner, Per Golestrop. He's the CEO of the Clipper Group. That's a Danish company that operates 250 cargo ships worldwide. And I began by asking him how the ship's crew members were holding on and how they were being treated. Well, what we do know is that we are in, we are in daily contact with the, with the, with the vessel. Uh, and uh, so far, the, the, the crew is unharmed and, and in, in, uh, in good condition so far. And they are allowed to go about their daily duties on board the ship. And, and what do we know about the status of the negotiations with the pirates and how those negotiations being carried out? How do you actually talk to them? Well, we have uh, we have consultants or experts that are handling these issues uh, for us because we, we, we cannot be directly in, involved with the pirates. Uh, in, in, so in order to facilitate the proper negotiations, we have somebody that knows how to handle these things. And, and, and from a company, uh, first of all, this must have come as a, a great shock, even though you've been in the shipping industry for quite some time. I mean, uh, piracy in, in, in 2008, uh, I think, will come as a shock to anybody. And, and it also certainly came as a shock to us. And, and from your perspective, and a very unique one, what is it you think should be done to combat this very serious problem of piracy? Well, the fact of the matter is that there are plenty of naval assets in the area. Uh, I mean, the Russians, the Americans, the EU, and uh, NATO, uh, there are numerous ships down there, but the, the effort is not coordinated. It is it's totally disjointed. And not only that, but they have forced the merchant uh, vessel to go to a safety zone, a secure zone, which is 480 miles long. So you're basically making the ships sitting docks because you cannot patrol an area this long effectively. And, and so should it be that the ships are escorted? Is that, is that one possibility or is there a, a, a corridor that you create for safe passage? How should these Navy vessels all be coordinated then? Well, there are two issues. First of all, you need to get to the root cause of the problem. The fundamental problem is in Somalia. That I'm not going to get into. Right. Uh, secondly, the Many governments aren't going to no, get into that either. Apparently. Uh, and uh, and uh, the, 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 the pirates can only operate because they're operating from mother ships that are operating far away from the uh, Somalian coast. So if you get to the mothership, you are basically going to put, push the pirates in the defensive. And, and that can be done even with the, with the law as it is today. Uh, the problem is that the forces that are down there right now, the mandate they have is to, uh, to uh, combat terrorism. And the mandate needs, needs to be extended to include uh, pursuing pirates. Uh, so, so that has to be done, first of all. That's in the short run. Secondly, we, they need to set up some sort of an escort system. Right now, I mean, it, it, it is just, it's just very, very dangerous to go to that area, as it is. Eric Golestrop, thank you very much. We certainly wish the very best for your crew that's being held, that they get a safe release. And thank you for your insights. Thank you very much for having me.